का इंटरप्रेशन फ्रेंड्स मेरी जॉब्स रिक्वायर एम्प्लॉज टू इंटरप्रेट एनालाइज एंड मेक स्ट्रेटेजिक डिसीजन बेस्ड ऑन डाटा प्रेजेंटेड इन चार्ट ग्राफ्स एंड टेबल्स डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन क्वेश्चन कवर द मैक्सिमम पार्ट ऑफ द क्वांटिटेटिव आउटकम सेक्शन इन ऑल मेजर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द की कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन अलॉन्ग विद वेरियस टाइप्स क्वेश्चन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स आई हैव ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड a few solved examples which you will find beneficial in your examination preparation i am sure this video helps the students to get confident in the data interpretation section and score well in the examination friends please do watch the video till the end to clear all the doubts regarding the same i am professor venkat ramo here as senior professor of english at government first grade college gulibandi friends if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel as of now please do subscribe and also hit the bell button for all the notifications and never forget to like this video and share it to your friends dot interpretation when this point comes to our mind the first and foremost question that frames in our mind is what is data data is information these are facts or statistics collected together for reference or analysis the second question is what is data interpretation after the data analysis the next step is to interpret the data it is assigning meaning to the processed and analyzed data it is to view through the frame that can assign meaning to that data it will allow us to draw a relevant or a meaningful conclusion thus it is a step that comes after a data analysis and that we used to decide Now let's come to the types of data interpretation. We can classify data interpretation into a few categories. Let us understand them one by one. The first and foremost one is line graph based data interpretation. A line graph is a geographical representation of the change in two variables over a period of time. It shows the quantitative information are related between two changing quantities with a line or a curve the data may be related to various categories such as average income and expenses comparing pie charts population or demography study demand and supply distribution and utilization etc we are required to understand the given information and thereafter answer the given questions let us come to the second type of data interpretation that is based on bar graph A bar graph presents the group data with the help of rectangular bars. In this section, data is represented as horizontal or vertical bars. In the two axes of the bar graph, one represents the particular categories being compared, and the other axis shows the discrete value. While interpreting the bar graph, the length of the bars or columns determine the value as described in on the axis y. chart based on data interpretation pie chart or pie graph is a circular chart divided into various sectors it has the shape of the pie and each slice of the pie represents the portion of the entire pie allocated to each category the sectors of the circle are proportional to the corresponding values of the information provided here the data could be presented and converted into 360 degrees or in percentage or in fraction Now let's come to the tabular format based data interpretation. It is in the form of table. That's why it is called as tabular format. In a tabular form, data is provided in horizontal rows and vertical columns. The title of the table describes the content of the table and the kind of data, measurements, and period for which it occurred. Column headings in the table defines the information contained in various columns. Its specification of the unit of measurement. Footnotes are used to point out any exceptions. in arrange the data while reading a table all the parts need to be given a careful observation now let's come the types of questions asked in the examination the first kind of question that may be asked pertaining to bsc or bca first sem of bangalore north university and bangalore university is that it is writing a paragraph to interpret the data in the graph chart or tabular format the second type of question that may be asked in the Bangalore University and also Bangalore North University question paper, which may be tested in the BA or BSW first semester examination, is that it is answering objective type questions set on a graph, chart, or a tabular format. Friends, now let's come to the 
tips on how to answer data interpretation questions. Though there is no shortcut to solving data interpretation questions quickly, there are some things that you can avoid doing and some ways to save time while solving these questions. Data interpretation questions test your ability to navigate to find relevant information to answer a set of questions. Some data interpretation questions will be more straightforward, while others will ask you to determine if the graphs you have been presented with providing enough information to answer the questions. Friends, now let's come to the tips on how to answer the data interpretation questions one by one. Read the entire questions carefully. Read the complete data given in the form of values, graphs, etc. Start with the data and scan the information. What is the title? What are the access or keys showing? Mentally note whether things are numbers, years or other types of data, but equally. Review the graphs and make mentally notes of what information is being displayed on the X and Y axis. Read any information provided below the graphs. Pay attention to the units. For example, speed is given in kilometers or hours and time is to be calculated in seconds. Give yourself time to outline where the relevant piece of information can be found on a chart. You should understand the given data as per the questions. Then you can apply data interpretation tricks to get the answers in seconds. Before solving data interpretation, you should practice the questions of data interpretation. Never start any reading the questions and referring back to the graphs without absorbing the information first. Always go with easy questions because when you get the answers to easy data interpretation questions, then you can try moderate and hard level questions of data interpretations. Don't get diverted or afraid due to a lot of information and avoid skipping the information before giving a glance to it. Don't worry too much about understanding everything about a given chart or graph. And so now let's come to the exercise. The first question is about writing a paragraph to interpret the data. This kind of writing a paragraph to interpret the data will be tested in the BSc or BCA question papers of first semester. Now let's come to an exercise. Just look at the data. I'll read the question. Sarah Ibrahim conducted the following survey as part of our project. Are the various modes of public transport using the information given below? Write a paragraph on the topic, various modes of public transport in 80 words. Give valid suggestions and reasons for the change in the preferences of people. Friends, now let us answer this question. The title for this paragraph is various modes of public transport. The survey throws an interesting light on people's preferences for travel from 1996 to 2001. Traveling by bus is still the most popular mode, though its popularity decreased in 1997 to 98. Since then, it has grown in popularity. The decrease was due to rise in e travel. The return to bus travel is due to the steep rise in the fares of e travel. Rail travel remains steady from 1996 to 98, but declined from 1999 to 2001 and is not very popular with the public. Now let's come to another exercise on writing a paragraph to interpret the data. Let me read the question. Renuka conducted a survey to find out how teenagers spend their free time. Based on the findings given below, write a short composition titled Teenagers and Their Pursuits along with your ideas and conclusions in 80 words. Let's come to the answer. The title of the paragraph is Teenagers and Their Pursuits. This survey which was conducted recently presents a gloomy picture since teenagers 40 percent which were spending their maximum time glued to the edit box watching serials which are harmful sports appear to have taken a backseat since only 10 percent are watching sports and only five percent are playing outdoors maybe due to the lack of playgrounds hardly any spare time is kept for creative pursuits and hobbies the crazy is talking to friends on mobile or telephone the silver lining is that at least 25 percent friends are writing books and newspapers and are utilizing their time meaningfully now let's come to the exercise on answering the objective type questions to interpret the data well this kind of questions will be asked for ba or bsw students let's look at the abhino arya collected the following information during his survey for his general studies project on the production of two wheelers study the table given below and answer the questions you see that table is titled as the craze for two wheelers in the present times and another one side it is given year another side scooters 
motor bikes, mopeds, etc. have been given here. Now let's come to the questions and also answers. The first question may be like, name the variety of two wheelers produced highest in India. The answer is scooters. In which year production of two wheelers was lowest? It was in the year 2007 and 8. The production of which variety of two wheelers is lower than the motorcycles during the past five years? The answer is mopeds. Mention the years covered in the survey on the production of two wheelers in India. Well, it is from 2004 to 2009. Production of which two wheelers is consistently increasing during the past five years? It is the scooters. Come to the next question. The question is titled as Study the following bar diagram and answer the question set on it. Here is a bar diagram. Just observe it. Now let's go to the questions and answers. First question is, in the diagram, the horizontal line refers to A. Months. Option B. Years. Option C. Rice production. Option D. Ragi production. Option B. Years is the correct answer. Second question, what are the total years taken for the production of rice? Here, as per the survey, four years. The bar diagram shows rice production in Karnataka in blank quantity. It is tons. Total number of tons of rice production in 2015 is blank. Option A 500, option B 1000, option C 300, option D 750. The correct answer is 300. In conclusion, every five years, the production of rice is consistently, is it increasing, decreasing, stable or fluctuating? The correct answer is fluctuating. These are some of the exercises and answers. Please do refer this kind of things for your examination purpose. I am sure this will help you a lot. Friends, do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button for notifications. Like this video and share it to your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video till now. I hope we could meet in the next video for an interesting session. Thank you very much. Once again, take care. Bye. And I wish you good luck for your examination.